everyone, I'm Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I am demonstrating a video of me coloring my hair half teal and half green. Now, my advantage here is that my hair is already pre-lightened. I have other videos about lifting hair. You can go check out this card that pops up above to find any of my other videos about hair dye or coloring your hair at home for beginners. Currently my hair is green already and it's just a little bit faded out. I want this to be a much more vibrant and bright green so instead of applying green I want to apply yellow to it just to brighten it up rather than intensify the color green itself. The other color I'm mixing up I'm using the color aquamarine mostly by Arctic Fox and I also have been using a little bit of conditioner to dilute the product and just make more of it. When I'm trying to get excess color out of the bottom of a Arctic Fox bottle, I actually put conditioner in the bottle after I can't get any more out and I shake it up and it just grabs all of that pigment and it does dilute it but it makes it much easier for me to get all that color out when I have some conditioner in there. And as you can see, it's a little bit lighter, but it's still gonna add some vibrancy and we're just making more dye so that we can put it in a jar for later. So I carefully sectioned out my hair. Actually, it's a pretty sloppy section, so ignore that. Um, I don't know why the back is a little bit crooked, but I would generally say be as careful and as precise as possible when you're sectioning. So as you can see, I've been applying this color right along the parting. I just kind of wanted to cover it up so that no blue pigment will accidentally get onto that side. Because my hair was already green, I wasn't too focused on fully saturating as well as possible. I did use a lot of dye, but I didn't really go in there with my brush and comb a whole lot. As you can see, I'm just kind of grabbing half an inch thick sections and I'm just slapping that color on from a fistful of it in my hand. I really like dyeing my hair with my hands. It's just easier for me to kind of saturate and get in there. And even when I'm doing this in the salon, I tend to ditch the brush halfway through an application and I just use my hands to work in the product better. So I'm kind of mushing up that color and I'm in taking advantage of the fact that it's a nice creamy consistency to push against my head and keep the hair in place rather than using a clip. And then I cover it with some saran wrap so that it just doesn't get covered in color when I'm doing the blue side. Now, like before, I'm applying this color along the profile parting and I'm just making sure that that line is saturated before I go in with some horizontal sections in the back. At first, it almost looks like the color is picking up just super green, but after processing this for, I think, at least two hours, I was able to get it to a nice teal. With non-oxidative colors, it's really okay to leave this in as long as possible. I don't necessarily recommend sleeping in it, but you could leave it on all day if you would like. Just make sure you're not mixing it with a conditioner that has keratin or protein in it. Most strengthening or repairing shampoos and conditioners have keratin and protein in them, so you can just read the product label. The reason being that you actually can over keratinize your hair with protein in a product. Um, if you leave it in for too long, it will actually make your hair less healthy and less strong and it can make it brittle and break. Okay, so now I have these extensions. They're sitting on a foil so that I just keep my area clean because I am doing this on the floor. And again, without using a comb, I just go in there and like saturate with my fingers. Extensions are actually very hard to saturate because it's a weft of a bunch of hair really thickly bunched up. But as you can see in these photos, the results were gorgeous. This was one of my favorite colors I've ever done because I am obsessed with greens and blues. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time being spent here. So please like this video if you really did enjoy it. Ask me any questions at all in the comments below and make sure you click on one of these videos that pop up in the end. These are all suggestions relating to this video and all of them will help you understand coloring your hair even more. Bye!